Good evening, good evening, guys. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my little, uh, this isn't a podcast. I don't know what to call it, but please do not forget to like and subscribe. Listen, so breaking news, as we all are aware, it's gone viral on a Sunday that Joe Joseph Robinette Biden, our 46th president of the United States. He, he hasn't quit. Everyone's saying he quit. He stepped down. That's not what he did. He is not seeking a second term of his presidency. We need to get things right. He's still president. He is just not seeking a second term. He will not be running again for president. Okay. He is in his first term. Okay. Which lasts four years. Each president has a maximum of two terms or eight years of presidency. Most presidents um, that I could think of always um, run for a second term. I can't think of a president in my recent memory that has not run again for a second term. Well, Joe Biden is the first to do so in recent, I guess, since I've been alive in our millennial lifetimes. All right. I don't know about Reagan. I don't know about Bush. Let's see. Reagan. I remember it's, it was Reagan, Bush, Clinton, uh, Bush again, Obama. And then who was it after? Was it Trump? Yeah. I feel like I'm missing someone. Trump and then Biden. So now Biden is not seeking reelection. So yeah, we need to all get our facts straight. He's still the president of the United States. Um, however, due to um, obvious cognitive decline and you know cognitive deficiencies in him, especially his poor performance during the recent debate against Trump, which was a shit show. And it's not that Trump performed well, it's that Biden performed poorly. Trump was a shit show, but Biden was just not in a state to be able to go up against, uh, Trump and, and his, you know, just his obnoxious ways. So now what do we do? I feel like it's time for the democratics to regroup. We have been so fractured among the various groups within our, you know, traditionally democratic community. You have a lot of Hispanic Latino folk who have traditionally voted blue, right? With the exception of like a few like Cubans. Um, I know a lot in large part, they have been Republicans traditionally, not all, but you know, largely that I've, um, known of, um, you have even, there's a lot of infighting between in, in, in the black community. Um, especially with between black men and women, there's just so much chaos so much disharmony, it's fractured that this can cost the Dems the election. Okay. You have a lot of Dems too, that are not happy with our economy. That's another thing. Um, that's another thing that can get in the way of, of the Dems winning this election. And I feel like the, our base, and I say our, because I feel like the Democrats that's what I was assigned. Okay. My parents that came to this country, that's what they were assigned blue. And I say that because even though I look at both parties, um, the, the Democrats and the Republicans, a lot of immigrants, especially from the community I, I come from the Haitian community, we have a lot of Republican values and standards. However, because of the, what I've seen, the racist ways of the Republicans, I just vote what I was assigned, which was Democrat. Okay. Even though I hold a lot of Republican values, but I can't ever see myself voting Republican because they don't work for me. I am not their demographic. I am not their model citizen. I just, I'm not their target, but anyhow, this is what we were assigned. We all need to regroup enough of the infighting. I'm hearing a lot of black men. So now, okay. So, so, um, Joseph Biden, has endorsed Kamala Harris, right? To take his place. The problem is I have never been, I am lukewarm on her. I don't feel either way. I haven't seen anything of note she's done, but again, she's the vice president. 
what role have other vice presidents played um, in, 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 a, a, in previous presidencies? A lot of people are bringing that up. They don't see her. Well, can y'all remember right off the bat who was Clinton's vice president? I just remembered now. It was, uh, damn, what was his name? Al Gore. I don't remember what anything notable he's done during Clinton's presidency. Joe Biden from Obama's presidency, I just remember um, just the, the funny memes of him being um, the Robin to Obama's Batman, all right? Other than that, I know they work together, but you don't really see them, you know, that much. Reagan, was it Bush? Bush Sr. was his vice president. I don't remember what of note he did. And Bush Jr., who was his vice president? I, I think Dick Cheney. What, uh, uh, besides the shady stuff, you know, where was he? Again, so we cannot say Kamala has not been, you know, in view in the public eye. She's playing her role. That's what she's doing. She's playing her role. So we can't use that as an excuse to not vote for her. Um, some people say she's unlikable. She likes to laugh a lot. Okay. I mean, Bush liked to laugh a lot. Bush Jr. He was always flirting it up with, um, with Michelle Obama, you know? So, I mean, those are, those are just, they're not good enough excuses, honestly. Even though I'm lukewarm on her, there's still not enough excuses for me to not vote for her. Um, we what well, what do we know? She is Caribbean slash Indo American. She's born in Canada. Went to I believe Howard. She is a member of the Divine Nine, aka right. Um, she was Attorney General for California. And then she became a junior senator, I believe. She made laws that were hard on marijuana. I know a lot of people resent her for that. Um, I can't speak to that. I'm not someone who would be affected by that. I don't smoke. I, I, I mean, I, 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 not everyone would be affected by that. She also um, caught a lot of flack for making a, a, a law to address truancy out in California. Now, truancy must be a really big problem. And truancy is children that do not attend school. Well, it is against the law for your child to not attend school. That, that is against the law. So she basically held parents accountable for their children who I guess were running the streets and not um, going to school. So that she forced them basically, or they would face, um, I guess, criminal uh, charges, which I guess it would be, it could be a little harsh, but you know, if they had a, pro listen, we all live in different States. We don't know what challenges plague certain States. So if that was a challenge that was plaguing California and she, at least she came up with a solution to it, I mean, more power to her. It is illegal to, for your kid to not attend school in many States, if not all States, your kid has to go to school. All right. So homeschooling or physical school, your kid has to attend school. And so, um, again, I reiterate, it doesn't matter what you feel. If you are absolutely not voting for Trump, it doesn't make sense for you to sit this one out because you don't agree with Kamala. I doubt, listen, I doubt Republicans who don't agree with Trump are sitting it out because everybody knows their vote counts and you represent your party a lot. Listen, Trump's base and the Republican base are high powered and hardcore. They are hardcore. Look at the wife of, of the firefighter who was killed at the, um, at, at the rally. She said she don't get into politics like that. Her husband does. So what does she do? She's going to stand behind Trump, not because she may agree with him and his politics, but because of her husband. So the, the Republican base come hell or high water, they're going to vote red. And I feel like the blue needs to follow suit. Or else we are in for a world of trouble, especially with this, uh, what's this, the, the 
agenda 25 agenda, whatever that thing is, y'all need to look into it. I have been hearing murmurings about this for a couple of years now. It's no joke. I forgot what it's called. Project 25 or whatever. We, we listen, democracy will be over as we know it. And that is why that is why I went and double checked my voter registration, because honestly, I did not plan to vote with Biden in the running. I didn't. I was lukewarm. Um, it, I just it didn't make sense to me. He's declining. He's not, you know, um, looking well in the debate. It's not a good look. So me, I was just like, eh, whatever. But now that we have a younger, more vibrant Kamala, who possibly will be the nominee we need to regroup. We need to suck our, our feelings up. I'm not a hundred percent for her, but if we respect democracy, which is what this country was founded on. Oh yeah. You're going to need to, you're going to need to. And the Biden administration was not all bad. Like I said, I've seen millions and millions of Americans get their student loans forgiven. I am a part of that group who's Student loans, over five figures, student loan forgiven, almost 70,000. That's not anything to sneeze at. And so Trump would not have done that at all, at all. So I just found that as a silver lining, even though, yes, our economy is shit, wages are not going up, but taxes, everything else is going up. Um, I know it's not totally Biden's fault. I, we really have to be objective thinkers in this. And I know had it been Trump, Trump only works for the rich because I know a couple of people, high earners who said Trump was great for me. He doesn't work for lower to middle class people, even, or even upper middle class people. He's not working for us. He's working for the rich. And that is why I just, you know, I'm sucking it up and I'm I'm just going to make sure I go vote and I go vote blue. That's it. Um, I'm seeing, so now the only thing that can save the blue, the Dems, they're going to, if, if Kamala is nominated and she's selected, um, which I feel like she is because she's already raised 27, let me share my screen. Kamala has already raised $27.5 million in, I guess, campaign donations or, or whatever um, since Joe Biden announced that he's stepping down. $27.5 million surge. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Look at this on Act Blue in the first five hours of Vice President Kamala Harris's presidential campaign. Grassroots supporters are energized and excited to support her as a Democratic nominee. I have been going through all of these news, the, these, uh, uh, these news blurbs and, and social media, and they it's just amazing how she was being shitted on a couple of days ago to now people are endorsing her left and right. The Clintons have endorsed her. Um, AOC has endorsed her. Um, Obama has not yet endorsed her, but it can't all be an avalanche. It cannot. They're going to slowly, the endorsements will slowly trickle in. You can't have everything all at once. Like a waterfall just comes splashing down. No. Now I feel like they are taking this campaign seriously. I feel like they didn't take it seriously. Of course. Now Kamala has to go against stuff like this. And if I were Candace, I'd be careful because she's making these strong accusations. And I've heard this too. I've heard this about Kamala. However, she's running against someone who said, grab women by the P. I mean, Trump is no better. Why are people bringing this up and highlighting that? He has how many felonies? So if she betted her way to the top, you know, versus someone who has been divorced three times has three baby mamas. Uh, Trump has, has a declared bankruptcy, ran a fraudulent, uh, for profit school, um, has made derogatory comments about women. I mean, I'll take someone being bedded to the top over all of that. So that's neither here nor there. See all of this. It's, it's just, it's, 
It's going to get dirty, but I feel like Kamala is ready now. Kamala is ready. We're hearing that Biden's health wasn't a factor, but his brother came out to say that it was a factor in him deciding to not continue on in his presidency. So let's see. Okay, let's see. That's another problem too. A lot of white women who may be liberals or and may have conservative husbands vote the way their husbands do. Um, that's what cost us the election. That's what they say, allegedly, cost us the election um, the first time when Trump won. It's a lot of white women. And I don't know how true that is. I don't know. I I don't know. With see, that's a tricky. The white women um subgroup, voter group is strong, they're loud, and there's there's a lot of them. There's many of them. Um I don't know if they'll be happy with the first female president of the United States being a woman of color. That's something that may work against the Democrats. So I feel like the way that can be countered is by Kamala having a very strong vice president candidate. Now I'm hearing that, you know, they may nominate, um, for vice president candidate, they may put out, um, someone from Pennsylvania, I guess he's, is he the Senator, someone from Pennsylvania, because they're saying, Pennsylvania, you need Pennsylvania to win the elections. Um, I'm, I don't know about that, but it was some guy from Pennsylvania. Um, but what happened to the other presidential nominees? Right? What about Marianne Williamson? How about her? What about was Amy Klobuchar a Democrat? I'm not sure, but those ladies. Okay. What about the other lady? I forgot her name. Who tried to claim that she was native and she wasn't forgot her name. She was running for president. She, oh, she, listen, Kamala's going to need a very, very strong, very strong vice presidential pick. Either a white woman who the white democratic men will rally behind or a white man who the white women will rally behind. See, it, this is tricky, but this is all politics. This is how it goes. This is politics, baby. So, okay, now let's see the comments people have been making. Um, oh, Lord. Let me um, refresh my page real quick and see. See, now this is what someone said. America is not voting for a black woman as president. We were cooked. Yeah, a lot of people already are claiming Trump won already. I don't know. See, I don't know that. Re guys, remember, there's something called an October surprise. Y'all don't know. I don't have time to talk about it. I'm about to go to sleep. Look that up. Politics is full, chock full of surprises and twists and, and turns. Now here's what Plies has to say. Trump, MAGA, mainstream media, and Republicans are scared shitless right now. This was their worst nightmare. The nominee is officially Kamala and she picks a dope VP. It's game over. That's what I said. All they have to do is prosecute the case against the most flawed candidate in America history. Ah, you know, it's, listen, this has the potential. Kamala being the pick for the presidential nominee, ha, presidential nominee has the potential to be epic or an epic fail. Again, like I said, the VP has to be, listen, the VP pick has to be remarkable. Someone that everybody's going to say yes. And they have about a month to get their shit together because the democratic national convention is in Chicago and it is August 19th, I believe. And now I will be watching with my popcorn. I will be watching. I will be watching. 
Now everyone's saying here, okay, everyone's clout chasing. You know, whenever there's something, people always pick out a picture they have with someone and just post it. So let's go to the comments, right? Um, of the you know, reactions to the news of Joe Biden uh dropping. All right. Now here's, and I like to look, read comments because you can get a sense, you can get a temperature of the people. Okay, again, someone call Obama and get, I, my, they said Michael, they mean Michelle on the line. Michelle Obama has not given any inkling that she wants anything to do with the office of the presidency of the United States. That lady and her husband are rolling in dough, enjoying retirement and living it up. Leave them be. She's not interested, number one. Number two, two ladies of color on the ticket, it, that's not good. No, no, it will not. Now, if Michelle Obama, they make her the presidential nominee, now we're talking. But she has not given any, any interest, so no. Barack for vice president. Barack can't be vice president. Wait, I, wait, can he? I wonder, can someone who was president be vice president? What does the constitution say? I don't know. So now someone said, so now once Kamala announces, we need to get behind her and vote for her. Yes, I agree. I agree. Now people keep saying, Michelle, 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 Michelle ain't coming y'all. She's not coming. She's not coming. Someone called my, yeah, no, Michelle is not coming. Give it up. We got Kamala. I've heard also rumblings of Gavin Newsom, who is the governor of California. Um, he's, I've heard he's controversial too. That's not going to work. That's not going to work. You know what? Or they're going to run polls and, and all these polls and throw his name out there. And if, Gavin Newsom seems favorable. They might throw him in as VP pick. But as of now, I don't think that's going to happen. They're going to try. They're both from California, him and Kamala. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting anxious stomach. I'm turning off my phone. All we can do is pray. So everyone basically is on a doomsday ideology. And the Republicans, I feel like are sitting pretty. I feel like they're panicking, but the Republican base just see Kamala as another black, you know, uh, <laughs> a black girl running. And they no, they they think that Trump can beat her. But if she gets the campaign funding right, because you know, that's what goes into it. Campaign funding, campaign donors, they have to agree with this and they're going to be able to blow Trump out of the water, but it has to be right. Um, I've already heard Nancy Pelosi does not endorse her. That's not a good look. It doesn't look good. We need the Dems to, to back her, at least fake it show unity, something. And I feel like that's happening because I'm seeing a lot. Let's see who else. Um, so AOC endorsed her. She says, my intention is to earn and win this election. So now it's game time for Kamala. So now they're showing her like in a favorable light now. Um, what else can, yeah, that's, so that's, what do y'all think? Who y'all voting for? Who do you think is going to win? What's going to happen? Here, see, look, they're already posting. Monday, October 7th, 2024 is the last day to register to vote for the November 5th president, presidential election. See, now there is an, an earnest energy for people to just get out and vote. Here we go again. This happens every time. Get out and vote, y'all. Get out and vote. All right, let's pass all this. Oh, Cardi B says she called. Everybody called. I mean, this isn't. Uh, it, it wasn't something that was unforeseeable. All right. Trump even said this, this Trump confirms the rumors that Joe Biden is quitting. I saw this last week. So this, this was something known. It was known. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, what do you think? 
It's going to be one hell of an election. Um, damn, I, I just I want to see what else. She says she will beat Trump. Amanda Seals, she did call it. Amanda Seals called it um, a few months ago. Oh, man. It's going to be an interesting, interesting election. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I feel like we need to be united. I can see black women rallying behind Kamala. I see black men not rallying behind Kamala. Um, the misogyny is just at an all time high in, a, in the black community, especially that Kamala is married to a white man, Douglas Emhoff, right? Um, it's going to take a lot for, for Kamala. It's going to be a lot, but listen, this is politics. There's tricks, many tricks that can happen. Um, we'll see. We will see. And I'm, I'm staying in tuned in for who the VP pick will be. This will be interesting. Again, she needs a strong, she, they have this in the bag. If they pick a strong VP uh, for Kamala, please y'all don't forget to like, and subscribe and story developing.